Welcome to the video my friends, I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to check out Death Stranding which just came out on PC. Previously a PS4 exclusive and it looked good on PS4. But we're going to check it out in max settings, 1080p. Of course on my new build which was the 3900X CPU and the 2070 Super. Death Stranding does have DLSS 2.0 support as well. Not that we saw any difference in the testing during this footage you'll see pretty soon. But overall, I think we were pretty impressed. Maxed out the settings here, and uh, yeah, I was streaming at the time of recording this, so I'll leave some gameplay for you, and uh, the results FPS on screen, of course, as always. I hope you enjoy. Oh shit, we just killed a lady. Oh, there we go. Now my FPS goes up. Uh, let me turn that volume down because that is insane, uh, insanely loud. Okay, so yeah, runs really good when it's not in a cutscene. Yeah, that's weird that the cutscene is like, even though it's in game, it's, it's like locked at 60. Is we gotta go and collect our cargo it looks like right okay so yeah we're locked at 60 on in-game cutscenes but then as soon as they stop fps bops straight up um so what we haven't tried is dlss so if we go into our settings again now for those that don't know dlss 2.0 uh is what it's at now it can um essentially double your fps by downscaling with the ai and then or upscaling with the ai to make an equivalent picture but in most cases it's actually better picture than the native resolution so this i think will put it down to like 720p but then upscale it back up to 1080p with the ai very clever way of doing it and um boost your fps up to two times and uh you're as good if not better picture so we'll turn dlss on um performance quality we can do performance as well just to see there we go straight off look at that fps from Wait, did that cancel that? Because that shot up. Was it? Oh, no, it's higher on the menu. Okay. So that gives us a little... It tricks us. So the quality, there's no difference there, really, from before and after. That actually looks sharper than before. Um, FPS may be a little bit higher. What are we at? What are we at there? What's it going to settle at? About 120. So let's turn it back off again just quickly. I think it was about 100, wasn't it, before? Um, nope, it's the same. So that didn't actually do anything. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> the DLS, I just gave it all the talk and nothing's happened. Oh my God. Yeah, let's try it for performance. To be honest, I look any different. And the FPS is no different, so what? I don't think that works. But yeah, image quality looks no different. No worse. That soundtrack, though. It's like a movie. It's like playing a movie, seriously. Nice. Right, so I got your KFC, boys. We're just coming in. Uh, no, I'm just streaming through OBS. You, I'm using the... Um, NVNC codec though, but a GeForce codec on the stream. Max quality, uh, 6,000 bit rate. So yeah, basically it's a walking simulator. Got a lot of story, it's Kojima. So if you played Metal Gear Solid and things like that, there's expected a lot of cutscenes, a lot of um, story later on in the game. Apparently what I've heard is it gets better after like, is it 10 hours in or something? Apparently the story really kicks off and gets really interesting. Um, but the first like where you're learning the mechanics and things, it's quite long, um, but it's worth sticking around, apparently. Um, so far, impressed with uh, looks and runs for a port from a console. Uh, 
uh, his face ain't safe. Hold on a second. That rain's been all over his hand and he's just touched his face. Yeah, doing good. Oh, snap. What is that? That's a big boy. I've got a feeling I'm going to die. Strange, strange feeling. Don't know why. A really weird feeling. I'm gonna die here. Keep low. Move cautiously. is that get, get me out of here get me out of here oh did I, did I make it please tell me I made it Ooh. oh yeah 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 He does all random reactions if you just stare at him. Oh, what? Right, I think if we stare at his junk, he does, uh... Oh, shit! Uh, we should get our... Does it show our temps on this one as well? Um... Yeah, shows our temps. 66 degrees, that's not bad. Oh, jumped up to 75 now. That's dropping again. And we did get the DOCP issue solved. We are running full speed memory, 3000 megahertz, because I had the memory so in the wrong slot. <laughs> Put a ladder out and figure out how to do this.
Okay, let's plonk. An anchor down there. And let's rappel down here, I guess. Pretty sweet. We've got to deliver these super drugs up the hill. So far, not bad on PC. A lot of walking, but there are vehicles to unlock and stuff later on. And apparently get quite a few hours into the game before it really picks up and gets super interesting. Um, beginning part of the game is like kind of learning the ropes and not really understanding what the heck is going on. But then uh, the real exciting stuff happens a few hours in. So really interested to see where that gets us. Oh, no, wait, we can cross here. This is good. This is good. It's shallow. Yeah. I forgot we can scan and it tells us what's dangerous and what's not, so we're good. I think this is a bad place. Uh, this circle here. Oh, shit, what's that? No, 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 no. Oh, what? They're throwing spears at me. Oh, hell yeah. I think we're good. We're good. What the hell is that up that hill? We might not be good. Oh, I spoke too soon. Fuck it! Yeah! Get up! Get up! Get up! Mistakes were made. I've lost the container up there. No, 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 no. Back in business indeed, oh yes. That ain't nothing but a thing. Well, I hope you enjoyed this first look at Death Stranding on PC, running maximum settings at 1080p, because I don't have a 4K monitor just yet, but I was impressed with the port itself from PS4 to PC. You can get it now on the Epic Game Launcher and, of course, Steam, which is where I own it. And the soundtrack is amazing. I was overall just extremely impressed with the port. It was pretty stable. FPS was amazing. Now, it's not perfect. There are issues currently with controller, where you get micro stutters and things if you're using a controller for some strange reason. But uh, yeah, the Decimer Engine impresses on PC. Super detailed over PS4 even more so. And just uh, FYI, I will be getting Horizon Zero Dawn as well on release day for PC when that is out. So we'll be doing a stream again and a video first impressions of that running maxed out on the stream. So be sure to follow to check out that when the time comes. Thank you for watching the video and watching the streams. I really appreciate it, and don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoy the content I create. Subscribe if you want to see more. Remember, I love you all, and I'll see you peeps next time.